Okay, so today's project is we're going to build a new firewood rack to replace this one that's uh, standing over here. It's a bit all starting to uh, fail, as you can see there, it's leaning. Just need to have a little bit of wood on standby for our little fire pit over here. All right, so what we have for materials to get started here, we have some lumber all pressure treated, some 4x4s and some 2x6s. They are all cut to 6 foot lengths. They were originally 12 foot and just cut them in half. That's the best way to buy it as far as cost effectiveness. Plus, you're not going to be wasting it if you buy by uh, eight footers and cut off two feet and throw it away, whatever. Got a little bit of gravel here to fill in the holes and tamp it down with that uh, persuader bar there. And we've got these uh, four by four post levelers to make sure the posts are plumb. Some five eight by sixteen inch uh, galvanized timber bolts here to hold the whole thing together, and some auger bits. And of course, over here we have our Harbor Freight auger power head to bore two holes for these 4x4 posts. Probably going to try putting it right here. Of course, the inevitable problem is hitting roots from these big trees, so we'll start with that one close to there and see if we get lucky. Then we'll go ahead and put a second one over here, six feet apart. Okay, so we have this bore laying more or less where this is going to go. We're going to want the post to be uh, so that this is flush with the outside edge. So go ahead and see if we can get a hole down here for All right, we got down there about 22 inches. Of course, that's a soft bottom, so that'll pack down a little bit. And uh, once you start getting down there, find found a place without too many roots in the way. You get really wet and muddy and heavy trying to get that stuff up out of there. All right, let's set the post in there and then see if we can get lucky on the second one. Okay, here comes the fun part, trying to get everything lined up. So we have this uh, little device on this first post. It's plumb more or less. We got one two by six set in there just with a screw, just so we can line the other one up over here. And then this one's plumb more or less, just to find out that I either didn't start that hole in the right place or it must have walked, probably walked a little bit. So I'm gonna either uh, just do it like it is and cut off this little bit or take my post hole digger there. Make it a little bit wider. I think I'm going to elect to do the latter just because I hate to be foiled by a uh, hole went in the wrong place. Okay, I'm going to make this hole a little bit bigger. And we'll be right back. All right, it's kind of hard to line these up without having two people, so I've got this uh, board, a 2x6 cross here, level between the two of them. Trying to get the uh, outside edges lined up. I'm just going to have to go ahead and make this guy plumb and fill it in with dirt. At least I've got the general orientation right now, so once this guy's in the ground, more solid. I can go over here and adjust this one. So, brought this wheelbarrow full of some uh, nice gravel over which will pack really tight. You can use anything you want to. Use concrete. I don't feel the need out here. All right, so we got it uh, pretty reasonably plumb here. Got uh, some gravel packed around the base here. Use the flat part of this big uh, steel pry bar to ram it down in there. Still have to put some more in, but anyway, that lets us come over here and get the, this end flush, more or less. Now, it's plumb in this direction. We have to go ahead and straighten it up and then start filling this guy with some gravel and tamp it down. And we can proceed from there.
Okay, so there are both posts anchored in the ground with just some gravel packed in there. Everything's uh, trued up. Now, something for the wood to rest on. It's going to be a six, two by six on each side, but the problem is if you just put it right up against the four by four, it's only going to be a six inch base, which isn't going to be really enough to uh, support a piece of firewood. So what we're going to do is take another four by four and just cut a piece out this long, so five and a half inches. Use that as a spacer between the uh, two by six and the four by four on each side. That's why we have such a long bolt, 16 inches. Should come out to I think uh, 14 and a half inches. That'll leave us an inch and a half there. All right, I gotta go get to one, two, three, four, five and a half inch length four by four is cut up, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. I went and cut these little pieces out of uh, an old four by four post I found footing in the stream out back of the house a couple years ago. That's why it's painted white. Put a 45 on there just to have the water run off of it. Same thing on the other side. Got some marks to line it up here when I clamp it to that post so I can bore the hole through there. Also, I put this uh, piece of 2x4 across the top here just to keep it from spreading out. If your posts are deep enough and packed down tight enough, you probably won't need that. But I had it laying around. You don't have to do it. Here's a classic rookie mistake. The uh, Of course, it was a 12 foot and I cut it uh, in half at the lumber yard so I didn't have to you know, tie it to the bed and put a red flag on it and everything. So I just measured six feet from one end, and some of these 12 footers they make them a little bit longer. And sure enough, I didn't even think about that being in a too much of a rush, I guess. So anyway, this uh, other piece is three quarters of an inch longer than this one. This one's actually six feet, and that's what I used over there, the long piece. I just grabbed that first, just placed a post out, and it wasn't worth digging the post out to move it to three quarters of an inch. So you know, a little bit of a three eighth of an inch. Uh, Shortfall there on each end, no big deal. That's why I put it on the back side. So. Alrighty, well this is just uh, my clamp is just an inch and a half too short to make it over here. So I had to use this piece of scrap plywood to just nail these in place until I could bore that hole through there, so the bolt will take. We found the center mark here, where we're going to bore through. Of course the big problem would be making sure we get a uh, square bore hole perpendicular to the piece of wood so it ends up in the same place on the other side. Well, here's one faux pot that slowed things down, if you can see in there. Freaking nail. Got the wood bore. Had to take this off. Got another one. I knew there were nails there, but I didn't think they were angled up that far, and I didn't think they were that long, so... I guess it's one problem with uh, using recycled wood. Yep, so here's the end of this guy. See, it came out pretty decent. These uh, 5 8 inch bolts, they call them timber bolts. This one was a little bit longer than I needed, but that was the closest thing they had to it. This one was a little bit too short. And this is, uh, has fins in it so it kind of dries into the wood so it won't turn when you're tightening it down, which is nice. And of course it's galvanized, so it should hold up for quite some time. Okay, here, so here we have it with some celebratory uh, firewood stacked in there. Not too bad. I'll get this baby stacked up this weekend. Got some trees down. Need some place to put some firewood, so this would be awesome. Yeah, so if you want to build your own, you can uh, scale this to anything that you want it. Um, you could actually get eight foot uh, posts and put them two feet in the ground. You'd have six feet standing out. You can make the cross pieces eight feet long, so you'd have a basically six by eight. You could also upsize the lumber. You know, the more oversized things are, the more badass they look. So you could use six by six posts in there. And if you're going to do an 8 foot span, that 6 feet high, you might want to jump up to a 2 by 8 or even a 2 by 10 from these 2 by 6s here. Alrighty, so there we have it with uh, some celeb... Okay, so there we have it with some celebratory... Celebratory... Celebratory! Take 3. Okay, here, so here we have it with some celebratory uh, firewood stacked in there.